All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be talking about how you can best lay out your bedroom to lucid dream and to also sleep better, feel better, and in general, have a nicer room. So, as you can see, this lovely picture here shows, uh, you know, a fairly average room, um, not much going on here, but we're going to sort of do annotations on this room to show you what you could do. And I'm sort of going to explain with each annotation why you need to do it and why it's important. So the first thing I want to talk about is your bed's position in the room. So because most of us sleep on our side, okay, um, I would personally align the beds with the, say if the window is obviously here and the sun shines hopefully through the window when it rises. Obviously your house needs to be facing the right direction. You can't change that obviously if you've already bought the house or rented the house. But ideally your bedroom is the one where the sun, when it rises, comes through your bedroom window first. But if the sun comes in through here like this, ideally the bed would be this way, okay? And you would have your head here and your body like this. So that when you sleep on your side, no matter which direction you're facing, the sun can enter your eyes, or, you know, shine through your eyelids and wake you up. So that's the first thing. Obviously we can't change that in this picture, but that's what I would do. The next thing is your bedside table. Now this is probably one of the most important things for lucid dreaming uh, and setting up your bedroom because you need to have a few things on this table. So the things you need to have are, you need to have a dream diary, which is something that you can get on Amazon. You can use a notepad, uh, whatever the case is, you know, you can easily find one. You should ideally have some sort of pillow spray uh, and this is just going to make it easier to fall asleep, make the room smell nicer, and you know, especially if it's got things like lavender in it, it's going to help you feel more relaxed. And you also need to have some, if you're going to use them at least, some sort of supplement nearby, so that if you're going to use them, it's very easy to to grab and use. Um, I always like to uh, to keep a sort of glass of water next to my bed, just because I get thirsty in the night, and you don't want to have to leave the room and that sort of stuff. So that's really what you need to have on your bedside table. You can also have a lamp if you want. Um, I tend to avoid having lamps on my bedside table simply because when you're going to bed, you shouldn't really have any light source whatsoever. You know, it affects your ability to go to sleep and it makes you more awake. So you don't really need a lamp. The only thing I would say is that if you have trouble getting up in the morning or if your room is not able to, you know, have... Um, the sunshine through your window every morning, then you might want to get something like a sunrise alarm clock, which is a small device you can buy very cheaply on Amazon. Um, and I'll put a link in the description as well. And what it does is it simulates the sun. So when, say if you set your alarm for, um, I don't know, six, seven in the morning, it would actually slowly get brighter and brighter until six or seven up to the point where the light is so bright that it wakes you up naturally and it feels like you've just naturally woken up and you feel relaxed and lovely and you don't need to be woken up with a blaring annoying alarm tone because it's like you've just had the sunrise so that's the only thing i would put on the bedside table um, in the way of a lamp or a light so talking about the bed itself now i don't know what exactly this bed has but ideally with a bed there are two things you want to make sure you do uh, the frame is not really that important because, let's be honest, the frame, aside from looking nice, doesn't really do anything and it doesn't contribute much to how your sleep feels. Okay, So really, there are two or three things you want to focus on. Firstly, you want to ideally have a memory foam mattress because they are the type of mattress that are the most relaxing, they, they're soft, you know, they make you feel nice, but also they're good for your spinal health, they're good for posture, and they generally help you fall asleep and have deeper sleep. The other thing you want to have, and this depends on the quality of your memory foam mattress, but you want to have a topper. And what this is, is a very thin memory foam or other material uh, sort of thing that you can slip on top of the on top of your mattress and it clips underneath the um, what I call the ground sheet the main sheet which you put over your mattress it goes underneath that and it's normally say one to five centimeters thick and it's just memory foam or another material and what that does is that just softens the mattress even more and makes it even more comfortable to sleep on now I found that my sleep is massively improved since I got a topper you know for years I just had memory foam and it was lovely but the topper was what really sort of pushed it over the edge and made it an incredible sleeping experience 
So that's it really guys, that's the end of this video. Um, hopefully you've learned a bit about how to you can, how you can set up your bedroom. Um, I'll try and put links to, this, to the things I've mentioned in the description. If you have any opinions on how you set up your bedroom for lucid dreaming, I'd love to hear them. Um, but that's it for now guys.